This presentation will provide students considering the JMU pre-med program with information needed for enrolling in classes their first semester. There are two admission pathways into medical school. Students pursuing the direct admit path will complete all prerequisite courses and the MCAT prior to the start of their undergraduate senior year. Direct admits will start medical school within three months of completing their baccalaureate degree. Gap year students expect to start medical school six months or more after completion of their baccalaureate degree and begin the application process after graduation. It is important to understand that the national median age for first-year medical students is 23 years of age. Therefore, 50% of successful pre-med students follow the gap year pathway. The pathway you intend to follow, whether as a direct admit or a gap year admit, will direct the chemistry, mathematics, and gen ed courses you should enroll in for your first semester. At JMU, we have done extensive data analysis regarding a student's success in chemistry in correlation with the SAT and ACT mathematics scores. Our analysis shows that students whose SAT score is below 550 or ACT score is below 23 are more successful when they complete their mathematics requirements prior to enrolling in chemistry. Students with an SAT score of 550 or higher or an ACT score of 23 or higher are generally prepared to enroll in chemistry their first semester. The My Madison system will not permit a student whose SAT or ACT scores are lower to enroll in chemistry for the first semester. In addition to your SAT or ACT scores, your enrollment into chemistry should also depend on your selected pathway. If you consider yourself a direct admit and have the required ACT or SAT scores, you need to enroll in Chemistry 131 and 131 Lab your first semester. If you are considering the gap year admission path, we urge you to speak with your advisor during your summer springboard orientation appointment. After your discussion, you may decide to enroll in Chemistry for your first semester or wait until your second semester. For students whose SAT and ACT scores are less than the required first semester enrollment range, you should enroll in the appropriate mathematics course as per your enrollment worksheet. To ensure you are staying on track with the pre-med program, you should enroll in a GPhil 120 critical thinking for your required Cluster 1 course. If you are unable to enroll in GPhil 120 your first semester, then you will enroll in your second semester. If you need to enroll in additional general education classes to create a full schedule of 14 to 16 credit hours, select from the courses identified on this slide. These courses in the general education program will assist you in your preparation for the MCAT. You do not need to enroll in each of these classes your first semester. However, when you are enrolling in general education classes, these are the classes you should select for these areas. In summary, first review the guidelines on the first semester enrollment worksheet for your specific major while keeping in mind your selected admissions pathway, whether it's direct admit or gap year for medical school. If you plan to take a critical thinking course as your Cluster 1 required first semester class, enroll in GFL 120 critical thinking. If you are taking a communications course your first semester, or if GPhil 120 classes are full, enroll in GPhil 120 your second semester. Using the guidelines on the previous slide, if you need to add Gen Ed courses to your schedule, consider enrolling in one or more of the courses listed. Dr. Sharon Babcock is the JMU Pre-Medicine Program Coordinator and the Associate Director of the Institute for Innovation in Health and Human Services. She may be contacted at the information listed here.